Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Are you interested in selling your Shopify store on Flippa? In this tutorial, we will show you how to list your Shopify store, attract potential buyers and close the sales successfully on Flippa. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So first of all guys, make sure to go ahead to flippa.com and create your account and sign into it. After that, click on sell now and you will be able then to actually start the selling process. Here you should add your Shopify link. So I'm going to add here my URL for example and then click on continue. Right after that, choose what type of business are you going to sell and what assets are the customer gonna get well since we are going to sell a Shopify store it will have couple components first of all the domain name domain name of our Shopify store should be sold so it is an asset that I'm gonna sell click on it also there will be the e-commerce and basically since e-commerce and domain are connected to each other we are actually going to choose e-commerce and during the process we are actually going to choose uh, the uh, domain as an asset with it so here choose the business name for example e-commerce store serving baby product here we choose February where we choose for example USA and which state choose for example Alabama or let's choose uh, California select industry um, lifestyle baby and here put the amount of money that you are making or the annual revenue which is let's say for example thirty thousand dollars click then on continue and right after that choose here how do you make money so as a Shopify store there is four ways of making money either you are selling physical products digital products drop shipping or prints on demand so you could be doing one of those or all of them or some of them let's choose only the first one and click again on continue here which of these products do you use select Shopify and if you do use any other platform select it as well click on continue and there we go now since we have Shopify here we could click on connect but you could click on continue and it will take you again directly to the next process here are you able to provide the monthly financial if you do then put them here if you don't click on no and put the annual revenue annual cost and they will give you the net profit calculated automatically so I'm gonna write here 12k um, yeah 12k then I'm gonna click on continue now what are your primary expenses for example what do you pay monthly for so here usually as a Shopify store you will be paying monthly for Shopify subscription for the shipping of the products in case you were selling physical products and for the product itself if you do like buy it or make it yourself you will have to basically give it a cost and some other uh, sh like costs such as the marketing doing ads etc so let's start putting them here expenses expense name shipping how much do you pay for shipping let's say around six dollars expense name marketing how much do you pay per ad for example five dollars expense name warehousing zero expense name platform fees which are basically the fees of Shopify let's say for example twenty dollars and expense name products let's say for example we are buying it for four dollars and finally we could give it like another expense name for example domain name which will be twenty dollars a year so we can put it right here 
then click on continue after that what are we including in our cell as assets so here we are selling of course domain name since we want the domain to go with the Shopify so it is a brand we cannot uh, just give them the Shopify store without the domain since people know the domain itself here also we have to give them the social media accounts the email address website files and the phone numbers brand assets supplier contracts and uh, basically if there is any other things you would like to give them you can give them here choose platform to be Shopify so we could hover it there we go select Shopify and is your content unique choose yes or no is your design you need unique choose yes or no and it will provide a post sale support like uh, after you sell the pro the store are you going to help the guy or the customer that bought the business from you and guide them sell so, yes and then continue now here you should add your marketing stuff such such as like your Facebook the Instagram and more for example here I'm just gonna give him something like that and then I'm gonna click on continue now about about should simply have a simple description or a detailed one that talk about the business how much income are you having what type of product are you selling the customer niche that you targeting and the location why where you are targeting some details about the expenses where do you get the product from and how can you manage to redo this business by someone else and how can someone else be the owner and like basically manage the business by itself so here you can find some like already made template that you can edit by your own self so you can make it much better and guys the good description makes it have or have a potential of 3.5 times higher chance of being selling or being sold that business so make sure that you work on your description then you will go to the media and attachments process in here you should add pictures of your business and add a little bit of attachments and then after all of that you will go throughout a review by the support team and once you have been reviewed and everything is good then you can set a pricing list your packages and once you have been paid you can get to the checkout page and get your money out so yeah guys this is how you can sell your shopify store on flipper I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial.